All right, welcome to this video. In the last video, we talked about heat engines, and we just defined some basic concepts of what is a heat engine, uh, what is work, uh, the block diagram of the heat going in, conservation of energy of the heat going in, and the work coming out versus the heat coming out. And so we defined our basic first equation of an engine here is QH equals work plus QC. But now I want to define a second equation. I want to talk to you about efficiency. Okay, so efficiency. So what is efficiency? Well, when you think about efficiency, you think about what did you get out of it versus what did you put into it, right? So if you get it, if you get a lot out of what you put in, if you get a lot out versus what you put in, you have a very high efficiency. Okay, so when we talk about the term efficiency, we're going to use the letter E here, just lowercase e. And so what did you get out of the engine that you want? Well, we get work out of the engine. That's what we want, right? That's what we get out. So the efficiency is simply going to be the work, what we got out, over the QH, okay? So it's going to be the work divided by the QH, okay? So let's think about what that means. This is, again, this is what we got out over what we put in, okay? So this is what we put in here. So we put in the QH and we got out the, the work. Now obviously there's two things that are coming out here. There's work and there's QC, right? Obviously. But the QC is not what we want, right? We don't want that. We want the work, right? That's what we care about. And what do we put in? Well, we put in the we put in the QH. That's what we put in. So when I'm talking about what we got out, this is what we got out and that's what we want versus what we put in. So that's basically the idea there. That's that's why the efficiency is going to be the work over QH. Okay? So that's going to be efficiency. Now when we're talking about efficiency, efficiency of engines is, is actually very low. It's actually in the 20s and the teens. You would think of an engine, if, if you ask a normal person, well, what's the efficiency of your engine? Most people would say, oh, 50 or 60 or 70 percent. It's actually really low. Uh, in most gas engines burn, like I say, in the teens or, or the 20s. If you get a really, really good turbine, it can burn into the high 20s. And there's some engines that go higher because they they reinvest some of the energy. But for the most part, efficiency is not, it's, it's very low for these heat engines, okay? Um, but this is how we calculate it. So this is what we got out versus what we put in, okay? So it's, it's kind of a measure of productivity, you can think of it. How much did you get out of it versus how much did you put in? But there's other ways that we can say this because we know that if I come up to this top equation up here, if I rewrite this, I'm just going to rewrite the top equation here. So if I come up here and I rewrite that, okay, I can basically say, well, the work is going to equal QH minus QC. See that? So if I just rewrite that, rewrite this equation like that, I can get work equals QH minus QC. So I can take this work here and I can substitute it into here, okay, like this. So I can further expand my efficiency equation a little bit further, right? So I know that, okay, the work equals QH minus QC, and I, I didn't write it in the same colors, but I'm going to write it here in the same color. So I can say QH minus QC is the work here, right? That's what work is, right? Uh, divided by uh, just the QH. So that's just another way I can express the efficiency, okay? And then I can go a step further here. I can say, okay, I can break this fraction up, okay, because they have a common denominator, right? We have one number on the denominator, and so I can break this up, right? So I can basically make this into um, QH over QH, right, minus QC over QH, right, like that. And then that actually reduces to 1 minus QC over QH. So I'm just going to go ahead and erase that right now, just so you can see that. That just is going to become, um, I'm going to put it in black here, 1 minus QC over QH. It's all the same equation. And this is how we express the efficiency of an engine here. So, um, you know, just to clarify here, this is all the same equation here. So if I'm defining the efficiency of an engine here, you can define it in all of these ways. It's kind of just saying the same thing in different ways. There's not, there's not really much difference between this, except 
you know, except for when, when you're working in the problem, maybe you got work and QH in one situation, and in another situation, maybe you got QH versus QC. And then, you know, again, you could even simplify that further and just say 1 minus QC over QH. All right, so let's just do a simple example here. Let me, I'm just going to do a very basic example. Um, so this is going to do a basic example. Uh, and we're going to calculate just some, some numbers here. And I'm going to give you, um, I'm going to give you the QH, and I'm also going to give you the QC, and we're going to calculate some numbers. So let's say that I have an engine here, and I'm just going to work all in, in uh, I'm going to work all in black in just this situation here. So let's say that I have a QH here. I'm adding from some hot reservoir up here. This could be anything. I'm going to add a QH here of um, 400 joules, okay? And out of my tailpipe, okay? I'm going to get, uh, it's going to reject 300 joules of that heat. So that's not a very good engine, right? I mean, if you think about it, you might say, well, that's not very good. I lost most of the heat that I put into it. But that's probably probably about a typical value. And so what did I get out here? Well, we want to know what is the work. That's what I'm trying to figure out. And I want to know what is the efficiency of this engine, OK? So two things. Well, we know through conservation that the work is going to be what? Well, I can uh, basically say what whatever goes in equals whatever comes out, right? So I can say whatever is going into this engine equal, equals whatever comes out in terms of conservation of energy, right? So I can say QH going in is going to equal work plus QC going out. And we know that I have 400 going in, right? And I know I have work plus 300 coming out. So my work is simply just going to be 100 joules, okay? So I got 100 joules, so I put in 400, and I only got 100 out, okay? That's pretty typical in terms of what we would get in, for work. But let's take a look at the efficiency. There's three different ways we can calculate it. Hopefully, when we do it, we get the same answer always, okay? So the first way we talked about is, well, what did you get out? You got the work out over the QH that you put in, okay? So let's see what that is. Well, my work out in this case was 100, right? And my QH, what I put in was 400, right? So my efficiency is going to be 0.25 or it's going to be 25%, okay? And that's about right for a heat engine, okay? Another example down here. We said that the work is going to equal what? Well, if we solved it up here, it's going to be QH minus QC over QH. So let's just solve it that way. QH minus QC over QH, okay? So what are we going to get? Well, QH, 400 minus 300 over 400 is going to be 100 over 400, which is going to be 0.25, or it's going to be 25%, okay? Now let's do it the final way we talked about. The efficiency is also going to be 1 minus QC over QH, okay? So again, 1 minus 300 over 400, okay, is going to be the same as 1 minus 0.75, which is also going to be 0.25, which is also going to be 25%. So no matter how you do it, you're going to get the same efficiency each time. 25% when you use the work over QH, 25% when you use QH minus QC over QH, and 25% when you use 1 minus QC over QH. All right, that's all I've got for this video in calculating the efficiency of an engine. And check back for more videos on engines. I'm going to be talking soon about the Carnot cycle, and I'm also going to talk to you about how refrigerators and air conditioners work. I'll talk to you soon.